Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I had been inspired to start this new series on my channel where I kind of go through my collection and give you speed reviews on everything. Um, I have a really big makeup collection. I mention this a lot on my channel, but I work at Sephora, um, so I get a lot of products for free. I also buy a lot of products. Um, so I have a, a big collection and I think it's important that, you know, I kind of go through these, see if there's anything that I don't use anymore. And also that speed reviews I think might be helpful for you guys. So if you are looking at a certain product or looking at, you know, a product category, like today we're gonna touch on blushes, then you can kind of get all the information in one condensed video of like if the product is good or if it's not good. So I have a, a lot of blush to go through. So I'm just going to get started. I'm just gonna pull products out of my bins here, let you know what I think about them. Um, and if you, let me fix this, crooked. And if you have any specific questions about any product that I mention, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to give you a more detailed review. Okay. All right. So let's just get started. These are in no particular order. I just have like a drawer um, that is full of blush and a bin that's full of blush. So I have a lot of blush. Okay. So the first thing I have here is the Marc Jacobs Air Blush Soft Glow Duo. I believe these are currently on clearance at Sephora. This is the shade Kink and Kisses. Um, it's a beautiful blush. Obviously, there's a gradient right there, so you can choose if you want a more light application or a deeper one. Um, I would recommend getting this on sale. It is a plastic compact. It's not magnetic. I like the blush. Um, it has more of a satiny finish. It's really nice. Definitely get it on sale, though. Next is the Sephora. Um, so this is Sephora's brand. This is their Matte Perfection Blush Duo in the shade English Rose. That's what it looks like. I've used this a few times. It's not my favorite blush of all time. Um, I think it's a nice neutral color for somebody of my skin tone or lighter. Um, and Sephora Collection is an affordable, you know, line within Sephora. If you're looking for a matte blush, I like this a lot, but these days I don't really tend to go towards matte blushes. But like I said, it is affordable. This is a cream blush from the line of Morphe 2. This is the Perk Up Lip and Cheek color in the shade Rosy Wishes. I like this. Um, I'm really into cream blushes lately. I think this one blends out really nicely. It does have more of a satin finish. It's not very luminous or dewy or anything like that. So if you want a cream product that's not super glowy, I think this would be the way to go. Morphe is affordable. Um, I'm not like super into like their brand, but I do like that and it's a nice neutral color. Next is the Peach Bloom Color Blossoming Lip and Cheek Tint from Too Faced. Um, this is in the shade Peach Glow. This is an odd, a very odd formula. First of all, it has a very strong peach scent. I like the scent, um, but the formula of it is very like jelly. Oh, that's a bad place to swatch, but here it is. Um, it goes pretty well over liquid makeup. I wouldn't try to put this over powder at all. It's a very like, you can see, it's almost like a lip gloss consistency. It is very dewy on the skin. So you have to make sure you like a luminous finish. I think that all of the peach products are on sale at Sephora. Um, they're 40% off. I believe they're discontinuing the peach line altogether. So it definitely has a scent. I've tried that particular shade on my lips and I really don't like it. It tends to be like leaning a little bit more hot pink. So that's, that's not my personal preference, um, but I do like this. It's more of like a stain. So think of like the benefits Benetints, but with like a very jelly kind of formula. They're not bad, but they're not something that I would recommend to somebody. Um, next, I have the Milk Makeup Glimmer Glow Oil Lip and Cheek in the shade, I think it's Glimmer, in the shade Glimmer. Uh, I purchased this from BoxyCharm. Um, I, I like this. There's nothing really wrong with it. I've never used it on my lips. Um, it has a nice thicker consistency on the skin. It goes really well over your liquid makeup. I would not put that over powder. Um, and you get so much product in these small milk makeup containers that I really wouldn't recommend buying a bigger one unless it's something that you're going to use like every day. Next, I received this in gratis from Sephora. It's from Rare Beauty. It's their blush in the shade Grace. It's more of like a purpley tone. Um, I like these a lot from Rare Beauty. However, they are super, super pigmented. So you literally need to like dot, dot, and then blend it out with a sponge for it to be like a wearable product. Um, so I do like these. 
Um, would I recommend these? No, I think they are cream blushes that are better. I also have this in the shade Joy, which I like better. I think it's more more wearable shade, um, but they are just very, very pigmented. So I would definitely keep that in mind. Also from Rare Beauty, I have a few of these um, melting blushes. I have the shade Nearly Neutral, which I received in gratis, and I also have the shade Nearly Mauve, which I also received in gratis. Um, I like these. They um, work best for me with a denser brush. They are not as nearly as pigmented as the liquid blushes, and I just think they're nice. Um, I would recommend these over the liquid blushes for sure. Um, I'm very happy with the ones that I've tried, and I think that they, they have more of like a satin finish on the skin. They're definitely not luminous, um, and they're not super matte either. So if you like that kind of cream formulation, I would recommend those. Next is the MAC Glow Play Blush. Glow Play Blush in the shade So Natural. I love this. Um, I think it's super nice on the skin. It has more of like a putty finish, and I do like when blushes are super, super neutral, especially in days like today where I have more of like an intense eye look on. I like to have something more natural. So I really, I really enjoy this. This is from Bare Minerals. It's the shade Trendsetter. This is a loose blush. I have to say I've maybe used this like one time. Um, I did receive this in gratis, I believe as well. It's a little bit deep for me. Um, I don't mind the formula of Bare Minerals blushes. I just haven't really had a lot of experience with them. Let's see, I have a few minis here from Benefit. Um, I have the shade Gold Rush, which I really like. And it has a very intense like baby powder smell, which I don't mind, but I don't know why you would scent a blush like that. Like, there are many scented blushes I own. It's like, I just don't get it. Um, the, so Gold Rush is a very um, shimmery, kind of gold, golden infused pink, which I think is really pretty. Um, I also have Rockateur, which is a little bit deeper, still kind of peachy and golden. And then I have Dandelion, which has like an odd scent, kind of like a candy-ish type of scent. And that's more of just like a baby pink. There is shimmer in this one as well. Um, from Benefit, I also have the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad palette. So you have Gold Rush in here, you have Cookie Highlighter and Hula Bronzer. Um, if I were to recommend um, anything from Benefit, I would recommend a smaller palette like this. One that's a little bit more, you're able to get through it. It's not those giant six pan palettes, but um, you also get like a little bit of an assortment of what they have in their line. Um, but I do love these minis. I would never be able to go through a regular box of blush from Benefit. It's just too much. Um, I know I have a few of these, so they're probably, no, I think I just have two. I have them both here. These are from Nude Sticks. Um, I have two of the minis. One is in Sweet Peach Peony. The other is in Sun Kiss, and then I have a full size and bareback. I love these. Um, they are spectacular. The full size comes with the blush on one end, and then on the other end, you get a little brush. I've never used this. Um, I just prefer to use my own tools. But these are fantastic. Um, they wear beautifully. They all have like a more of a dewy finish. This is, um, they are considered like all over face colors, but I definitely just use them as blushes. And I've never had an issue with these with um, longevity or anything like that. Like these are, these are fantastic. Next is newer to my collection. This is a Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Rouge Blush in the shade Love Poem. I have a whole video about this line. Um, I purchased the matte blushes, which you'll see somewhere in here, this one and the, um, the cream blush. So I have like a detailed review on those if you wanted to check those out. I received this in gratis. This is the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. This is super, super pigmented and you definitely have to shake it. It's very liquidy. And I find that this one too is really um, shimmery, like almost highlighty. I like it a lot. Um, I just don't really use it too much. Um, I really should, I, I like it a lot, but it's very, very like peachy golden. Uh, I have this e.l.f. cream blush. It actually doesn't have a sticker on the back, so I don't know what shade it is, but um, they're beautiful. I really like e.l.f.'s cream blushes. This is not their putty blushes that they just came out with recently. It is not that. Um, this is just their regular old cream blush that's been in their line for a really long time. Uh, I think they're beautiful. And these actually go really well over powder too. I have two, three, two. I don't know. I split up my collection because... Um, I just did. So I have like some in a bin down here and some over here. So I have two minis um, from NARS in here. I received this in gratis. This is Deep Throat. So it's like a deeper kind of um, pinky peach. I like that one a lot. 
And then I have Goulet, Goulou, Goulou, which is a cooler toned kind of mauve. I like Tar I like uh, Nars's blushes a lot. Um, do I think they're like the end-all be-all of blushes? No. Um, this I also have in a duo. This is their Laguna Bronzer and their Orgasm Pressed Blush. I like the pressed better than I do the liquid in that shade. Um, if somebody were to come up to me in, in Sephora and say I want to buy a blush, I probably wouldn't recommend NARS because I think they're good, but for the money, they're not like super spectacular. Um, I also have this NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. I've gotten quite a bit of use out of this. Oh my god. Did you guys just see that? All right, well, uh, my review of that is going to uh, come down a couple notches. So the highlighter just flew out. Um, so I guess I'll hold it. I've gotten a lot of use out of these shades. There is this like weird bronzier shade up here. It's um, marketed as a blush, but it's like very brown, but I think it's not brown enough to be a highlight, or I mean a bronzer for me. So I don't really know now. This. I'm upset that this is broken. Oh boy. All right. So I don't recommend that. <laughs> I think it was limited edition anyway. But um, those blushes that come in these palettes, there are several of them that come in these six pan palettes. They are more of like a baked gelée formula. Um, so they're not as pigmented, which I don't mind. I mean, um, this looks pretty pigmented, but when you blend it out, it's really not. Um, I don't mind that because I would prefer to like build up my blush as opposed to have like way too much all the time. All right, next I have um, next I have a blush from Becca. This is the shade Flower Child. Becca is donezo. Becca is closed down, doors are shut. Um, this is just a really pretty peachy pink. I bought this from BoxyCharm. Uh, I think it was like six or nine bucks and I really, really like this shade. I have this in a duo, which I will show you right now. I have Flower Child and this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Champagne Splits. I believe Jaclyn Hill had something to do with this. So it's a Flower Child blush and a Champagne Pop highlighter. I just didn't want to ever run out of this blush. I think it's one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's perfect. It just goes with everything. It goes with any look. Doesn't matter. I like that one a lot. So I'm happy I have a full size of it. I have the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush. Um, this is in the shade Peach Dream. Definitely has a strong peach scent. Like I mentioned before, I think their entire peach line is going on sale. This particular shade I like a lot. Um, I've tried the bronzer. Um, I have that and I can talk about that a bronzer series. Uh, I like it. Um, these are just more on the dry side, which is surprising for a blush of this texture. Um, it does have more of a matte finish on the skin and you definitely need to use a dense brush with it. I haven't used this in a while. It's probably expired and you can tell there's like some discoloration going on around that. So I should probably get rid of it, but I don't know if I'm ready to just yet. Um, it has a magnetic closure and I like these. Make sure to get these on sale. All right, I have a couple from Tarte. Now Tarte blushes are like super popular. Um, I have the shade Party. This is old. This is so old. This came in like a Sephora birthday gift before I was a Sephora employee and I've been working there for like three and a half years. So this is super old. Um, and then I also have the shade Concept which is a mini. Um, I like tar Tarte blushes a lot. Um, the only reason I haven't reached for them lately is because they are a matte finish and I definitely prefer like a more glowy blush at this moment, but these are really, really nice. I have this trio from Anastasia. This is their blush trio in the shade Pool Party. Um, I've used both of these shades pretty extensively. I don't know what to do with this one. Is this like a contour? I don't know. Um, to me, that's not a blush shade but these blend beautifully. They're pretty pigmented and um, I've just never had a problem with these, but I've never uh, gotten into this one. I'm just not really sure like what that is. Um, I've seen these a lot at TJ Maxx, so definitely pick them up there. This I received in gratis. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush in the shade Mauve Sunrise. I haven't gotten a lot of use out of this one just because of the shade. It's pretty deep for me. Um, but I do like their bounce and blur line. I wish that I had gotten a lighter shade. I know they have like a peachy one. I think I would get more use out of it if this was like the peachy shade, but the formula is really not bad. Next up, I have barely gotten any use out of this. Um, this is from Kaja. This is their bento box. They have, um, two kind of like lip and cheek shades in there. And this is in the shade Sweet Sangria. So on the top, you have this shade and then on the bottom, which I unfortunately have never touched, <laughs> you got this shade. Um, the reason I haven't really gotten into this too much is because this is pretty dark for me. Um, I have tried this as a lip product. I don't mind it, 
But if I'm going to get into something this deep as a lip product, I'm going to use like more of a liquid matte lipstick that I know is not going to travel. This is a very like emollient formula, so it's just not not really something I reach for all the time. I might give this like one more try, and if I don't love it, then I'm just going to pass it on to somebody else. Uh, next, this is a newer purchase in my collection. This is from Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Divine Blush in Nude Venus. Just another peachy pink blush. I don't think this is anything spectacular. When I saw this come out, I was like on top of it. I was like, oh my God, I need this. I like it. It's good. But I think for the price, you can do, um, you can get another brand. Um, this is beautiful. I love how it blends. The color is nice and neutral for me. It goes with everything. But I think for the price, um, you can definitely do something different. Let's dive into some Natasha Denona. I have the new um, Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. I, um, it doesn't say on here what shade it is, but um, you get like a nice doe foot applicator on here. I try to swatch this somewhere on my hand. There it is right here. It's a brighter pink. Um, I like this. It's more of a thinner consistency, um, but I think it blends out nicely. It shears out quite a bit when you blend it out. Um, longevity on this isn't that fantastic. So I think for the price, I would not really recommend picking that up. I have this um, Natasha Denona Blush Duo in the shade Strawberry Cheeks. I purchased this from BoxyCharm. They're both beautiful shades. Obviously, this is more of a highlighter, but it's a little bit deeper for me. So I use this as a blush topper for this. Love this. This is a great everyday blush. I also have the Blush Duo in the shade Golden Caribbean which is a little bit more, you know, vibrant. Um, I've used both of these shades. They're great. This one just, um, just use a really light, I have to use a really light hand for it, but the formula is spectacular. Um, speaking of Natasha Nona, I have this blush and glow duo in the shade, doesn't say. So you have a brighter pink blush and a highlighter. I'm pretty disappointed in this highlighter. I find that it's not very pigmented at all. Um, there's just not much there and but I do like the blush shade it's more of a bright pink so um I just haven't touched this in a while so um I like this series and like remembering what I have um so I do like this I would recommend getting the, the mini size and then I also have in here the duo glow from Natasha Denona in the shade Alba this is I think technically a highlighter but I use it as a blush slash blush topper it's a peachy pink golden kind of duo chromey type situation um, I purchased this from BoxyCharm as well. I like it. I wouldn't like die over it, but I like it. I found another Tarte blush. This is in the shade Seduce. This is their full size Amazonian clay blush. It's a little bit on the warmer side. I just haven't used this in a while, um, only because it's matte. So what I think I might end up doing is like combining products like these two together where this is super luminous, this is more matte, and then I can get kind of like a balanced out finish on the cheeks and still use these products that are super old. Um, I have this blush from ColourPop. I have a few in here. Um, this is in the shade, this is their pressed powder blush in the shade Out of Sight. Shocker, another peachy pink blush. Um, I like this. I've, I've only used it a few times. It just didn't like super like wow me, but I like the price point of ColourPop. Um, so if you are going to place an order there, I do like their blushes. I also like their super, super shock blushes, which I have a few of as well. Um, but this is great. It's got like more of a luminous finish. There is some shimmer in here and you get a lot of product. So I recommend color palette blushes. I like them. Next is from Kosas. This is their eighth muse color and light cream high intensity blush. I made a mistake with this one. Um, I purchased this from BoxyCharm. They're just super pigmented. So what I need to do is kind of like dab my wet sponge in the two of these to mix them together. So you have like a deeper purple that's matte and then this is like more of a highlighty blush. Um, and that's the only way I can make these work. They are super, super pigmented. I got this from BoxyCharm for I think eight bucks. So it's worth it to me, but I would not recommend purchasing these in Sephora. This I got in gratis. This is a Dior blush. Um, I have no clue what shade this is. It says 876 on it. Um, it's a lot of times when we get gratis from Sephora, they come in these like plastic tester containers. This I describe as like a total watermelony shade. I think I've maybe, no, I've never used this. I've never used this. I need to use this. <laughs> I need to use it. Um, next up from Too Faced. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is their Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in the shade Berries and Bubbly. 
spectacular. This is one of the best highlighters of all time. This um, Tutti Frutti collection is an Ulta exclusive. So you can only buy this at Ulta. I highly, highly recommend this. I've mixed these together. I've used them separately. Spectacular. Love, love, love. Next, I got this on clearance at Walmart for apparently $7. This is the CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. It's peach scented. It is peach scented. I like all of the products in here. Um, if you are any deeper than me, it ain't gonna work. But um, I like all of these products. I have never had a problem with them. I just haven't really reached for them. Um, stuff gets buried in these drawers. Um, but I think for what I paid for it, for eight bucks, I like this a lot. Okay, so now we're getting into the bin of blush. No, don't fall out. Oh God, okay. Um, meh, what am I gonna do? All right, I'm just gonna throw this up here and then put them back in the drawer. Ugh, put them back in the drawer on my lap as I go. All right, let's get the one that fell first. <laughs> This is from Flower Beauty. This is their Blush Bomb Color Drops for Cheeks. I like this. <laughs> um, I've used this quite a bit. This is in the shade Pinched. It's more of like a neutrally tan, orangey shade. Um, no problem, no complaints at all. I like that one a lot. Here's another ColourPop Pressed Blush. This is in the shade Love Story. Not too much different from the other one that I tried. Uh, I do like their packaging a lot. Um, I think their shade, their their formula is really nice. Keep in mind, this one has glitter in it. So if you don't love glitter, then I would skip this one. But I really do like their blush formulas. Wine break. All right, next up is one of my favorite products of all time that I recommend to everybody I talk to at Sephora. This is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. It's, I've had this for so long, it's like crusty dusty, but it's a very neutrally pink. Obviously it's a cream and it has more of a matte finish to it. So I recommend this to anybody that's kind of like diving into cream products for the first time where you don't really know what you like. Um, this is just a very run of the mill. This is a great um, basic neutral color. It will go with everything. And it's not super shiny, oily, luminous. So if you're not really sure if you like that kind of finish, this is the place that I would go. I have a Jaclyn Cosmetics Duo. Um, I have a whole um, I have a whole video on these duos. I have two of them. So if you want to check that out, that will be on my channel. This is the shade Sun Kissed and Bronze Moment. Um, this shade I wish I, I wish I'd skipped. Um, it has a little bit more of a purpley undertone and that really doesn't go great for my skin tone. These are also gigantic, which I think is unnecessary. Um, the other one is buried in this bin somewhere, so we will get to them. <laughs> I have this, um, another Shimmering Skin Perfector Duo from Becca. This is the shade, um, Prosecco Pop and Amaretto. So Prosecco Pop is the highlighter. It's definitely too dark for me, but Amaretto is a really beautiful matte kind of neutrally tan shade. Um, uh, again, Becca is Dunzo, so if you can find this on sale, definitely pick it up. I have another shade of Dior blush that I got from Gratis that I definitely have used. <laughs> um, I don't know the shade name of this. It's number 943, a beautiful matte neutral pink. I think Dior blushes are really pretty. Um, do I think that they're necessary? No, but I really do like this. I see something else in a plastic package. Oh, I love this blush. This is um, Givenchy's Vintage Pink. I received this in Gratis as well, so it's... I wish I could depot these. Um, I haven't like ventured into trying to get them out of the plastic packaging, like this black plastic. This has some luminosity to it. Um, it's beautiful. I really, really like this blush. This is something I would consider purchasing if I ever run out of it, which I won't. This is the Lee Prism, Prisme, Prisme, Le Prisme blush from Givenchy. I like this a lot. Um, this I don't think I've ever used. I have not. Um, this is the e.l.f. Um, face duo in white peach. I think I've used the highlighter, but I've never used the blush. I'll have to give that a try. This is another blush from the Tutti Fruity collection from Too Faced. This is in the shade Strobe Berry. I like this a lot. This is too dark for me to use as a highlighter, so I definitely just mix the two together. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush, and it smells good. And I love the packaging. I think this is one of Too Faced's best packaging they've ever done. 
you guys would know what this is. This is a uh, long lost, never happened ever collab between Essence and Casey Holmes. I like Casey Holmes a lot. Um, this is their Peachy Bean Powder Palette. I think it meant to be like Peachy Keen. I don't know what happened with this. Um, it never came out really. Um, she always said that something happened and she can't talk about it, which means that, which tells me they settled like out of court or something. Um, but I did see this at an Ulta one day, so I bought it because I really like Casey. So you get a couple of uh, blush shades in here, just peachy, very beautiful. And then you get two highlighters, Time to Glow and Golden Girl. It does say XOXO Casey on the back. Um, and it talks about Casey a little bit on that side. Um, there is a sticker under here, which I just tore off. So I don't know what it says underneath. Um... But these blushes and highlighters are very pigmented. I need to get back into using these. Uh, I like these a lot. These are great. <laughs> so I need to get back into using them and figure out, uh, I wish I could find out what happened. This was years ago, years ago. I have a few, oh, here's another um, Rare Beauty blush. This is in the shade Bliss. This is the most neutral that they have. I like this a lot. Again, very pigmented. Did I just F up my makeup? Okay, I have a few of these. These are the ColourPop Blush Sticks. This is the shade 25-8. Um, I like these, they're great. <laughs> they're pigmented, they last a long time, they blend beautifully, big fan, big fan. Um, next I have the Maybelline Cheap Heat Gel Cream Blush in the shade 15 Neutral. This is awesome. This is very, very dewy. Um, like shiny oil, really, really glowy but I like this a lot it goes over liquid foundation really really nicely um I think I don't know if they still make these this is the shade nude burn 15 so a little goes a long way these are great oh my god I have so much blush this is um the Tarte breezy cream blush in the shade pink sky beautiful neutral color um great formula goes well over everything um I would recommend getting the mini size there's just a lot of product in here and uh, you don't need that much blush. <laughs> I'm talking a lot. All right, next I have, these got really bad reviews, but I like them a lot. These are the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cream Blushes. <laughs> Apparently I got one at Walgreens for four bucks. Um, this is the shade Sweet Innocence and this is the shade Butterflies. These are like borderline metallic, but they're beautiful. I really like these. I think that this whole um, clean fresh line kind of got um, a bad rap, but um, I've had really good experience with these two shades and apparently I got one on clearance for four bucks. So I really like those. Let's see another gratis. Ooh, this is one of my top blushes. This is from YSL. This is the shade Six Passione. Really nice um, peachy pink. <laughs> Um, however, this does have shimmer. There's glitter infused in the center here where the YSL logo is. This is just a great, goes with everything blush. It's called the Heart of Light Powder Blush. I don't know if they still sell these, but they are spectacular. Um, you can find a lot of these at like discount stores too. Like if you're near a cosmetic company outlet, they usually have a lot of stuff like this. Next um, is a product I don't like. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Fresh Face Paste, Fresh Face paint palette these suck I don't know what happened over here I think I was just trying to like blend shades together these are just not good and this is gonna go this is gonna leave my collection it looks as if you can pop these out I don't know why you would they're not good they're super greasy they're not very pigment well they're super pigmented um but they have like a weird dry texture to them and the shades themselves aren't really good I'm gonna set this aside this sucks I, I don't like this don't recommend Next is from Wet n Wild. This is their My Melody in Karomi Wet n Wild collaboration, a blush lighter palette. Um, I have used this shade and I think the highlighters. Um, this has to go too. It has this very sweet eh, berry scent to it. This is a nice shade, but I have like so much other blush that I don't think this is something I need to hold on to. So I am going to get rid of that. Next is from Ilia, the Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment in the shade Before Today. This is great. Um, I like this. This is the mini size. I believe this is the mini size. Um, very, very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. You can definitely mix this with a little bit of clear gloss and use this as lip gloss. You can use it as an eyeshadow, a blush. I like this. Very nice. 
This I love. I recently picked this up from BH. This is their Vanilla Cream Truffle Four Color Blush Palette. It has a scent similar to all of the Too Faced chocolate bar, chocolate stuff. Um, I like these. They're beautiful. They're matte blushes um, and they are just spectacular. I like these a lot. I have another lip and cheek duo from Milk. This is the shade Swish. It's a super hot, bright pink, which I will be using in the summertime. Great formula. Love that. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is an e.l.f. blush in the shade Always Cheeky. This is their primer infused blush. I haven't gotten as much use out of this as I should, so I'm definitely going to keep working with this one. What is this? This is a mini of the work from Milk. Um, and it's never been used. Where did I get this? I must have got it in gratis. I'm going to put this in my travel makeup bag. If you guys want a video of what's in my travel makeup bag, let me know because it's the makeup bag that I keep with me all the time. And um, I can do a full face with it. So let me know if you want to see that. I'm hoping to get all of this done while she's napping. This is from Becca. This is the Pop Goes the Glow Champagne Pop Face and Eye Palette. Um, this is interesting to me. You get a full size champagne pop. This is a blush in caramel. You've got a blush in berry, a highlighter in pink cream, and a highlighter in truffle. I haven't gotten as much use out of this as I should. Um, so I'm going to give this another try and let you guys know. This is from Holiday, but I think I got it on like deep discount or somewhere. All right, I have two Kylie blushes, which I actually really like. I have Kitten Baby and Batty on the Block. So this is Kitten Baby, peachy, kind of orangey. They are matte finishes. This is Batty on the Block, nice neutral. There's not much difference between the two. Um, Kylie just reformulated, and I looked at her website in my time. Today is Friday the 16th. I she launched her like rebrand revamp yesterday and I looked and I just wasn't like super thrilled with anything and I already have stuff from her line so it's like I didn't really feel like I needed to grab anything else but I do love those I love these blushes they're not super pigmented they're buildable you can um you can definitely build them upon itself they they're great I like them a lot and I got them for like eight bucks at Ulta <laughs> because they her whole line was on sale Next, I'm getting rid of this. This is the Wet n Wild Partner Up Blush Sticks. I have one in the shade Bare Balance, which is uh, looking real expired. So that's gonna go. And then I have another one in the shade Healthy Glow, which is not looking expired, but still looking crusty. So, doesn't smell. So I'm going to set that aside for giveaway. I got this for free. It was like a gift with purchase at Ulta. It's the NYX Sweet Cheek Soft Cheek Tint in the shade Baby Doll. I have not given this a try yet. It comes with a doe foot applicator. It has like a vanilla scent. And uh, looking at the shade, yikes, it's uh, like a purpley. Um, I'll give it a try. I'll let you know what I think. Next I have from ColourPop. This is their Candyland collection in the shade Gummy More. This is their super, super shock cheek. Smells like candy. Um, this is a great blush. Um, I use these with dense brushes. I think they give the best payoff and this is super shimmery. So I like this a lot. This is from Tom Ford. Um, this is their Glow Stick in the shade two, Soleil Neige. On one end you get a cream blush. Let me see if I can put that somewhere. Um, this is a very like summery, watermelony type shade, which I love. And on the other end you get a highlighter. The highlighter is more of like a balm texture with some gold glitter in it, but this is um, a super pigmented blush and I really, really like this. Next is from Natasha Denona. This is their Love Glow Cheek Palette. Um, you get two creams up here. No, this is one, this is not a cream. You get a cream blush, which I really like. It's more of like a neutrally shade. And some other highlighters. I haven't gotten as much use out of this as I should have. I think it's because it's a very, like, like, that's the highlighter shade. So there's not a lot of, like, places I can wear this to. Um, it's right there. I think because of how, like, unique the pigmentation is and the colors are, I haven't just, I haven't gotten as much use out of this as I should. So I'll hold on to that for a little while longer. We're almost done. We have like five left. <laughs> Next is new from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is their Rouge Romance Blush Palette. I purchased the 
is a bougie rouge. I don't, this is the one I got, the, the warmer one. Um, like I said, I have a whole video about this. Um, I've gotten the most use out of the shade Pretty Posh, which is their neutrally one. Um, who, who is wearing, look how pigmented that is. And like, that's not something that I think is good for like a blush like that. There it is. It's super, like I probably never will get use out of this. Um, I love the packaging, but there's maybe like two, three shades I would get use out of, but like who's using a blush that red? Cause if you're of a deeper skin tone, like you wouldn't want to use something like this anyway. I don't know. I think she's got to work on that whole thing. Um, next is from Becca. This is our blush with light blush trio palette. You get three shades. You get Snapdragon, Songbird, and Wisteria. I like um, Becca's blushes a lot. And these all have some sort of like um, luminosity to them. So I gotta use that. I'm glad that these are like getting onto the top. Again from Tom Ford, I have the Soleil Contour and Compact in the shade 3 Nude Glow. Um, I need to get more use out of this. The highlighter shade, there's a golden one and a pinky one. They're not that great. Um, and neither of them really work for my skin tone. So what I end up doing is kind of like mashing them all together and using them as a blush for 108 bucks, which is not what I paid for it, but it retails for 108 bucks. I would skip these. I would get his, um, Tom Ford's blushing duos instead. They're like luminous face powder duo. They're great. This is from NARS, their air matte blush in the shade Freedom. Um, I like it. <laughs> if you're looking for a matte cream blush, I use this with a brush and um, I've never had a problem with it. This sucks. I'm returning this. This is the Kat Von D or KVD Vegan Veritas, whatever the hell of beauty, whatever they decide to go by right now. This is their new Mod Con Liquid Gel Blush in the shade Luminary. This sucks. This um, takes off all of my makeup. It um, disturbs my foundation, like, etc. This is not good. I, I don't recommend that at all. Something that is along that same line that is spectacular is from Ciate. This is their Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek Tint in the shade Coconut. I love this. This goes beautifully over any sort of cream, even like a powder. If you have like a light dusting of powder, it's super, super dewy. They are not lying when they say dewy. Super luminous. It's very like glossy on the skin. This is spectacular. This is what I wish the Kat Von D vegan kindness, beauty, whatever the hell. Um, this is what I wish this would have been. So I love this. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. Last but not least, now that I've been talking for 37 minutes about blush, this is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. I love this. So you get a powder blush, a cream blush, and then some highlighters. This diamond powder is one of the best highlighters I've ever used. And the cream blush is great, powder blush is great. Get this on BoxyCharm. Um, I don't think I bought this from BoxyCharm. I think I bought this just from Sephora. But um, these tend to go on sale often at BoxyCharm for like very, very cheap, for like a shockingly cheap price. So that is my, I'm trying to think of if I missed anything. I hope not. That is my blush collection as of right now. So let me know if you have any specific questions about any products. I can give you a more in-depth review. I have um, totally dedicated videos on the Jaclyn Cosmetics blushes both collections, the bronzing duos and the bougie rouge or whatever it's called a collection. Um, and let me know what your favorite blush is. I'm curious. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.